Hi, I'm Delusion Dispeller. I am back. Really back. Look at how much clearer and brighter and nicer this picture is. It's called, I Learned to Use Video Enhancement on my camera. So, <laughs> from now on, our videos are going to be a lot easier to see. I do apologize for all that time when everything was just kind of shady and not very clear. I didn't like it either. I kept watching my videos going, oh, that's just like, I could do so much better than that. It's not that pleasant to watch. So, I am back. I have improved my videos. Welcome to all newcomers. Um, I'm not going to shout out right now because I'm not exactly sure of names. I've been on a fast for four days. Uh, just came back recently. Here's the butterfly for this time around. It's just pink and gray. Nothing fancy schmancy, but it's a butterfly. Okay. Well, anyways, today I'm going to talk to you on the topic of gaslighting and I think it's a really important topic to cover many people have covered it already I'm just getting my notes ready here on my other computer and I will share what I know about gaslighting how it all works etc and why it's so dangerous because it really is dangerous it's um probably one of the most dangerous parts of being abused by a narcissist is when they gaslight you. And anybody that's been through it, they know what I'm talking about. Okay, so what is gaslighting first of all? Gaslighting by definition means you are manipulating somebody psychologically. Um, you are convincing them to question their own sanity. And that's why it is so, so dangerous. Because if a narcissist can get you to doubt that you are sane, they've got you. Plain and simple. So I have an example for you today. I'm not going to actually act it out like I usually do with the little quotations and stuff. But I'm going to share a story that happened with my daughter. My oldest daughter. When she was, I believe it was second or third grade maybe. Anyway, um, she came home, she had a hole in the side of her nose right here where your nose indents and it looked like lead or maybe not lead but graphite from a number two pencil point and there was a definite hole in her nose and I said, Carol, what happened? The teacher pushed me down and I poked the pencil through my nose. I was like, what? <laughs> the teacher did what? I was livid. Um, so I called a conference with the teacher. I got to the conference. We talked about all her grades and all the small talk stuff. Oh, how are you doing? Um, I'm doing good. I'm like wondering what this pencil point going through my daughter's nose is about, you know. I didn't say that. I was thinking it. Well, then finally the time came where I said, um, look, I need to address something with you. My daughter came home and said that you shoved her head down on a desk and she put her pencil point through her nose that basically she's well what did she tell you exactly I said well she said that you were doing what they call the melt where everybody just sort of blocks out their brain and relaxes and we're not going to get into what I think of that little thing but anyway my daughter was not doing it as fast as the teacher had apparently wanted her to so the teacher came by and shoved her head down with my daughter holding a pencil in her hand which went through her nose clear as day it didn't seem like anything contrived or that she made up so the teacher said well that's not exactly what happened and she looks at my daughter and I will never forget this as long as I live that's not what happened Amber was it tell your mother what really happened now I'm sorry, not Amber, Carol. Now, you have to understand something. I'm not the type of mother who believes my children just because they're my children. I believe them if what they're telling me is true to their character. There was no way I doubted her. She had a hole in her nose. Um, and I don't think she would have purposely poked her nose with a pencil. She wasn't that type of child. She wasn't into that weird stuff. So I knew something was rotten in Denmark. Anyway, stay tuned. I'll tell you the rest of this story. Thanks for watching. Be right back.